Whoa. Welcome back, everybody. I got nothing new for you. Um, well, we're going to do something different. Well, it's not different. We've done it before. Um, a while back, I did a, a home theater. Um, I showed my home theater. And I went from like 20 viewers to 200 viewers for that one episode. So I think we need to um, head back in that direction. Um, but we've already seen my home theater. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one component and check that out. One component that I think is worth 10 or so minutes. And we'll check that out. So we get to go on a field trip, folks, to the home theater. Let's go. All right. So we're back at the home theater cabinet. And that one piece of equipment I want to look into is not the Roku, but this Dune player. It's basically a Blu-ray player. BD Prime 3.0, folks. Basically a Blu-ray player. Blu-ray disc and network media player is what it is. So it accepts regular Blu-rays and DVDs. Although I've figured a way to change the region on it, which could be cool. And so um, it's a media player and Blu-ray player. Now, I've got that on and I've got that on the TV. It's in screensaver mode. So let's step back and check it out. Okay. So if you want to watch a movie, a movie or disc, put your disc in and then hit optical, optical drive. If not, and you want to hit my movie server, go to server, folks. And now you've got pick movies or TV shows. You want movies? Okay. All movies? Recently viewed? Let's zoom in here a little bit. Genres, types, whatever. You want genre? Okay. Boom. What, what genre do you want? Uh, my favorite. Horror. Let's go down to horror. Horror? Booyah! There you go, folks. Horror. Oh, yeah. Tons of it. Huh? You click on something, let's say you want to see uh, Halloween, the new one. There you go. Tells about it. And then push enter and it'll play it. Or go back and pick something else. Alright, so anyway, let's say we want to watch a movie. Let's say we want to watch The Call. Click on it. A little synopsis. Tells about, you know, subtitles or not. What type of audio we're getting, is it a Blu-ray, DVD, whatever. Um, so you got all that. And I clicked on it. Now, do we want to play it? Sure, let's play it. All right, let's, let's see what happens, folks. It's, it's, it's uh, waking up the computer right now and telling the computer I want to watch a movie. And that movie should be starting right now. Come on. Oh, there you go. It's just just like your regular Blu-ray movies, folks. This is if you had if you put the disc in, you'd see the same garbage. You know, while it's booting up the menus and whatever. So you're seeing this Blu-ray movie that's been ripped onto the computer that I own. Do we want to resume playback? Eh, let's just resume playback right and let's turn it down yeah folks i mean it's just it's on the computer but it is full on blu-ray movie um i just put i just went to the menu so that you can see that this is full on blu-ray menu operating with special features just like i had the disc in the drive but no it's reading it off the computer server so 
let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Right now I'm on movies. Let's go to TV shows. All right, there's TV shows, folks. How about American Horror Story? Okay, click on it. What season? One. That's all I got. And here's your episodes. It's moves in. Like it's, it's season uh, episode one, two. See how I'm changing that? Three, four. All with the remote, folks. See? Pretty cool, huh? So let's check this out. How does this all work? Where do all these TV shows and movies come from? Well, it's it's good. All right, man. It starts all. It all starts right here. This little computer, which isn't that big, it's like the size of a shoebox, and all starts there. It's it's doesn't have. It has a, a one SSD drive in there. So it's really small, and all my movies are right in those things. This has the capability of holding five hard drives each at two terabytes. So this one, let's open up. This one's actually not on. It's got five two terabyte hard drives in there. And this one is on actually. And this one has one, two, three, two terabyte hard drives. This one is kind of like my dump drive. It's kind of like a, just a storage, yeah, just kind of a thrash drive, you know. Um, whatever, because like I said, my the actual computer does not really have a hard drive. It has a, SS, a very small SSD drive on. Basically, it just has an operating system on it. So let's shut that. So basically all these, um, why do I need so many? Because I, all my Blu-rays take up a whole bunch of space. And I have, you know, I have like a couple hundred movies on disc. So I just put them on instead of, uh, you know, reading them off the disc, using the disc. I put all the movies on these right here. And that way I could feed it to different rooms of the house. Pretty cool. So eh? This is my monitor here right underneath the let's just call it movie server right under there got the old little little workbench desk little keyboard work off of and this is the program that gets me all my movie information basically it um I basically tell it hey I got a new movie and it down downloads all the information for me I don't have to do it manually. Pretty cool, eh? All right, so movie server again. I don't really believe in the Wi-Fi. And not that I don't believe in it, but not for streaming any type of high bandwidth stuff. So I believe full. I believe in full hard wiring. So I got a cable from the computer that goes over to those white cabinets on the right there. The top white cabinet, the, top, the small one, that has like the modem, router, stuff like that. And this bottom one has, um, that goes out to all my rooms, computers, stuff like all that. Right, so like I said, out. top shelf, that's your router. Cable modem back is back there. Um, what has a direct TV something. Um, actually and then uh, let's go down below and boom all that stuff there's a switch it's like a 16 port switch um, and all those blue wires those go out to all the rooms well I pull multiple look you're gonna pull you're gonna go into the house or the attic and pull a wire to a room don't just pull one I don't that's another thing I don't believe in pull multiple you're buying a thousand feet use it up um, anyway so I did you can see it's a lot of wire I only have three bedrooms but I pulled every family room living room bedrooms pulled pulled two to three to every room um, you don't want to have to go back and do it again so I also got um, my home runs actually the cables from the satellite come here and so this is like your media panel 
So anyway, so from the server, comes here, goes in, goes out to the, um, the, the poem theater area and what we're looking at. And so right here, and here we are, it ends up back at the, uh, the old Dune player. Um, now, I only have one of these Dune players. I do have two other media streamers, but I like this one the best. I should have gotten all three of them instead of three different ones. Um, the other two aren't worth showing because this is uh, the granddaddy as far as I'm concerned. This is the one that I use and that I like. And I use this baby all the time. I don't know what I would do if um, it burnt out on me or something. It'd be a complete bummer. Um, so that's it. So this is like my most favorite piece of home theater um, equipment, I guess you'd say. So, anyway, um, that's it. Well, I hope you like it. Remember, the Prime 3.0 by Dune, or something like that. Maybe that's not even the company name. I don't know. It's a pretty stupid naming scheme, if you ask me, but that's it in a nutshell. See, basically also, like I said, standard Blu-ray too. All right, man, that's it. The old Dune player. Um, hope you like it. Maybe we could hit the old uh, hit the home theater again. I don't think I have anything as interesting in there as that, but um, it's something different, you know, like a part two of home theater exploration um that's it until next time all right bye